What's up guys? Thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I am Kurt and we are working on a 1974 Datsun 260Z. And today we're going to be working on a couple things on the drivetrain. Stay tuned. So in our last episode we tore down the L26 engine from our 260Z and that's to get ready for the machine shop to go through. If you haven't seen that episode, hit the link above. Next thing we want to start doing is putting all of our suspension and our drivetrain together because we have the car in a rotisserie so eventually we're going to need to make that a roller. So we received the differential today. It's been gone through, looks great. So now what we want to do is give it a nice paint job. So we're going to clean that up and do that. Next we're going to head to our shop and that's where we're going to start trying to piece together as much as we can today the uh, suspension and then also put together some half shafts. So we'll head outside, work on the differential, and then we'll head to the shop. All right, so we're outside with the differential and we've had this professionally gone through and make sure all the bearings and gearing is all set and all good to go. So what we wanna do is just clean it up. We wanna wire wheel uh, the main case and then clean up the paint off the aluminum and also get the sealant that they put on, just trim that up and clean it up to make it all look nice. Now that we have the differential all wire wheeled and cleaned up, what we're gonna do is clean it up a little bit more and just clean the whole outer shell with some rubbing alcohol. And now that the rubbing alcohol has evaporated, what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and give this a real light coat. Now we're gonna give it a coat of some VHT engine enamel. Obviously this is not gonna get as hot as an engine, use it just because of the heat. All right, now that we have a few coats on and it's been sitting in the sun like this for at least an hour or so, I'm just gonna go over it with a heat gun and just uh, help cure the paint. So now what we're gonna do is start pressing the new bearings and races into the uh, front hubs. And so we have all new races and bearings. And so we're gonna go ahead and take these to the press and get those bearings in. So now that we have our races pressed in, what we want to do is put the rotors onto the back of the hubs and we're going to remove these bolts and then put on the rotors and then torque them down. All right, so now that we have both discs applied to the hub, what we're going to do is tighten these bolts in a star pattern, just like you would do a wheel to a hub. We're going to tighten these down to 35 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so now we're going to rebuild the half shafts and we have all our parts painted and cleaned up and we're now going to go through assembly. So assembly, we're going to first put our boot on to the first half of the half shaft and then turn it inside out. Now that we have the rubber boot on, we're gonna discuss on how we put this all together. So the first key part is, is we put this snap ring and then this washer in here. And then after we put in the bearings and the plastic spacers, that will be inserted into the main collar. Now, the bearings will slide, if you're holding this, perpendicular they'll slide in this tray, this tray, this tray, and this tray. So 
basically looking like that. So now we're going to grease this up and then insert our bearings and our spacers and then slide it into here. Now that we have this all put together, and it does take a little bit of time and some pushing it together to make it work, but now we're going to take our end cap here, and you'll notice the bevel edge. That is going to go towards the center on this part. Then we're going to take our snap ring and put it on there. Now that that's on, we're going to go on this side. We're going to make sure our washer is pushed down into this spot here and then our snap ring is going to sit right on top of that. So now that we have the half shaft together, the final bit is putting the cap on into this piece and then we're going to take that second large snap ring and then just pop it into place. make sure that's seated and we're good to go to work on the boot now what we're going to do on the boot is we're going to slide these down and we want the front lip to sit in that seat and these are a universal fit so we're going to use the smaller section here and trim the rest off so now what we'll do is get our bands and we're going to strap them onto these boots. All right, so we got that differential painted. We got the front hubs at least done and ready for connecting to the suspension. And we also got those half shafts assembled. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We have a lot more content coming up on this 260Z. It's going to be an awesome build, so stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next one.